What's up guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be looking at the SF launcher for Android. Now this launcher hasn't been around for a while. It's brand new. I think maybe a week or two. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. It's going to be running on my Samsung Galaxy Nexus. So first of all I installed it from the Google Play Store. It was for free. There's also a paid version that has some features. We'll get into that in a bit. So right now I have customized all the basic functions. Right now I'm in the launcher. So you have two screens, just one for your main home screen and then the next is basically just your apps. You don't have an app tray to actually go down there. And then over here I've chosen my most recent apps and I've put them up. And the, these are supposed to be widgets. You can actually choose as much as you want. Oh, oops, sorry. So right now I have um, Right now I have two widgets running. One is my weather widget and one is my calendar. I can also add more and over here I can also add more icons. As you can see there is not enough space but we can make space so first of all you have your home screen and then the app drawer and then if you scroll to the left you have your settings menu. So from the settings you can choose different kind of, um, different kind of header headers. Uh, you can choose a theme if you want a light one or a dark one. Right now I'm light. If I go to dark then everything just becomes more black. So that's up with themes. You have two kind of themes. You can also set an auto theme. And now you have different cities you can choose that you want to put on the top. If you choose um, generic then that would just use whatever Google now is. That's what it's going to be. Or if you want like a custom city, you can go ahead and choose that too. You have Berlin, Chicago, um, London, New York. Let's choose New York. And okay, now it looks like this. So, a neat way of giving you that kind of Google Now experience. And by the way, if you hit that, you, get, you go straight into Google Now. In case if you were wondering where the search bar went for Google Now, you just have to tap the picture up there. So that's it for the pictures. Now you can also choose your, your the size and the color of the clock and date it's showing. You can adjust that, the size, the color, the font, whatever you want, you could adjust that. Now the widgets also, you can adjust their sizes respectively to whatever you want. Right now I have 235 dp, that's what it's up to. I don't want it taking too much space. This much is pretty much perfect for a widget. So your favorites is basically this little part down here. Your most recent apps or the ones you use the most that you want to use. So you can also customize those. You can choose different kind of how many columns you want there. You can choose the icon size. You can also choose kind of labels if you want them. The text size on their names if you want that. So you can also customize those. Now your app list is obviously the apps that are on the right hand side. You can also choose the kind of columns, the icon size, the label lines, and the text size for that as well. You can also get the SF Launcher Plus. It's, uh, okay, I have no internet connection. It's available on the Play Store. I believe it's $199. i am not too sure. I will correct myself once I recheck that. So, yeah, guys, if you like the launcher, you can go ahead and check it out. If you like my videos, do give them a thumbs up as it helps me a lot. And do subscribe for more as that helps me a lot, too. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.